Meghan roars with rage as Lemonada Media parts away with her to make fresh deal with Queen Camilla's podcast. Queen Camilla's podcast, The Queen's Reading Room, is a success in the ratings, which has led to another event set to record this summer at a star-studded Hampton Court Palace. This is in stark contrast to the royal family's other known podcaster, Meghan Markle, whose archetypes was axed by Spotify last spring. Rumour has it that Lemonada Media decided to cut ties with Meghan to buy back Camilla's podcast rights. Given Meghan's apparent disinterest in Queen Camilla, I doubt if she has a nice word to say about her or a podcast. Royal author Ingrid Seward dished. Camilla's podcast has been a great success, she added. She's proven many times over that she can bring in any of the big names from the world of the arts that she wants. The upcoming Queen's Reading Room Festival is set to take place on June the 8th and is only returning due to popular demand, according to a press statement about the event. It will feature Harry Potter stars Miriam Margulies and Helena Bonham Carter, thrill writer Harlan Coben, and a special musical showcase of the musical comedy Operation Mincemeat. Literacy is Her Majesty's signature initiative, according to a royal insider who also pointed out that the Queen enjoys promoting childhood literacy in particular. A source close to an insider said that Lemonada Media, which Meghan announced a new deal with in February, is offering a cooperation with Queen Camilla by buying the rights to a podcast to air on Lemonada. Earlier this week, Lemonada cancelled Meghan's podcast, and announced that the relaunch of Meghan's Archetypes podcast got pushed back to 2025. Queen Camilla made headlines in early 2023 when Prince Harry's memoir Spare featured numerous incendiary passages about her. Her stepson called her dangerous and claimed that she enjoyed using others to deflect negative press from her. This also led one brand expert to label this as the Queen's perfect revenge. After all the hurtful things Harry said about Camilla, she's finally got her own back on them director of Bourne Media, Denise Palmer-Davies, told an outlet. I bet Meghan in particular will be livid over the whole thing and probably a bit embarrassed that hers fell at the first hurdle. And you know Meghan Markle's breaking every plate in the Olive Garden, screaming with each porcelain victim, she copied me. Many Raw fans gave their opinions about Camilla's podcast. One said on Reddit, no doubt Queen Camilla is professional, well-briefed, has read the script and made intelligent amendments if necessary and has let the other professional staff get on with their jobs without a fuss. Another added, The reality is that Queen Camilla is doing a podcast that's essentially a book club for the whole country, and she has fun people on. It's nothing to do with her except for a love of reading. This is a great big gift to people. I follow the Queen's Reading Room on Instagram, and it's really good. Authors, actors, historians, a little something for everyone. And in the process, encouraging folks to read, learn something new, have a better life. Markle, well, she's completely incapable of doing good. It's actually quite tragic. 